Hi, Cameron Freeman here. So, I wanted to talk about anxiety. So, like, for all of you people with anxiety out there, uh, this is a important message for you. Um, you see, I suffered with anxiety basically my entire life. Um, general anxiety disorder, you know, social anxiety, the whole nine yards. Like, um, here's the thing about anxiety that your psychologists and psychiatrists uh, won't tell you. Um, anxiety is basically a higher cognitive functioning brain at work, okay? Basically, what it means if you have anxiety is that you're more sensitive than most people, right? And what does that mean? That means your body gathers more information per second than most people. It means your brain processes information faster than most people. It means you feel emotions more deeply than most people. Or I don't I, I guess I can stop saying most people because most people today probably have anxiety actually. So it but that's what it means. It you're processing a lot more information, right? That's why you feel anxious, okay? People that don't feel anxious don't feel anxious because they don't process as much information as you do. They don't see as much as you do. They don't connect as many dots as you do, right? Um, worrying. For, for, for those who have an anxiety that causes them um, a lot of worrying due to fears that, you know, especially fears that uh, will probably never happen. Um, here's the beautiful thing about anxiety that causes you to worry, okay? Worrying, right, that emotion that it causes, what, it, what, what that does, right, what... What that does for you, okay, is that it's called motivation, right? So worrying gets that person who has the anxious mind to start building a plan, right? Now, it provides you with the opportunity. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, so if you're the kind of anxious person that worries a lot, okay, what this is what you need to realize, that... You're processing a lot of it. You're, you're inherently a lot smarter because of it, okay? Anxiety is literally, I mean, in my experience, um, anxiety is a measure of intelligence, okay? The more anxious you are, the more intelligent you are because that's generally where a lot of anxiety comes from is the ability to know what the fuck is going on, right? So... And, you know, obviously that's what causes a lot of worry. Now, in some cases, it's just, you know, maybe a biochemical defect. But whatever the case is, don't worry about it. That's not what's important here. What's important here, okay, is the fact that you can use those feelings, these anxious feelings as motivation, as energy, raw, pure, unadulterated energy to fuel your mind, okay, to do incredible things, all right, especially more and faster than people that don't suffer from anxiety. Why? Because they don't have as much motivation. They don't have as much desire. They, their emotions aren't as strong. Their fire doesn't burn as strong, okay? That's what anxiety is, okay? It's a stronger fire. It's a stronger life force. It's, it's a stronger spirit, okay? This world, okay, is pretty fucked up. We all know that, okay? This world causes those who have vitality, those who have intelligence, those who have eyesight. I mean, not like the opposite of blind people. I mean, the ability to discern, right, in the world. It causes anxiety for those kinds of people because there's a lot of things in this world that are the way they shouldn't be. And that's cause for a lot of concern. But 
in these trying times. We can use this energy, this anxiety, as motivation to make ourselves better, to find solutions, to start thinking, to because that's fuel. It's fuel for thought, all right? That those feelings, these worries, these anxieties, that's fuel for thinking. Put it to use. This is the time. We're all locked up in our houses right now. All right? Most people aren't working at the moment. Right now is the time for all of us, okay, to go inside, especially us anxious ones, go inside and start thinking, right? Using that energy to think about solutions. Not the problem, right? Don't just think about the worry, obviously. But since you have anxiety, that's probably what a lot of you are doing, right? You just keep thinking about the problems over and over and over and over and over. That's what we got to stop, right? You turn this anxiety around, right? Use it for power. You can do that. Use it to think about the, a possible solution instead of just the problem. All right, and then all we got to do is communicate these potential solutions and internet. We don't have to leave our houses for that. So, let's get to work, huh?